Now at 4 o'clock, former President Donald Trump arriving in South Florida ahead of his history-making court appearance in Miami tomorrow. Trump is facing dozens of felony charges accused of illegally hoarding classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. Tomorrow, he will surrender to authorities and face those charges here in Miami, where he is encouraging supporters to join a protest outside the federal courthouse. We have live team coverage with our crews covering every angle of President Trump's arrival in South Florida and his arraignment tomorrow. And we begin with our Glenna Milberg live right now. Glenna. Calvin, Nicole, right now in front of the courthouse in downtown Miami, a lot of media, no protests just, just yet, but so much security. Not only Miami Police Department, not only Homeland Security, but Secret Service, bomb dogs, which you'll see in our report just a little while, clamping down for this appearance. An appearance that's really going to be very formal, normal process here, except for we're talking about former President Donald Trump and an historic indictment, criminal indictment of a U.S. president. It is all about that right now and for the next 24 hours. He himself just landed about an hour ago. Wheels down at MIA just before three with 24 hours to go before former President Trump faces a magistrate as a federal criminal defendant. Homeland Security, Secret Service, bomb sniffing canines, making the already congested downtown streets around the Miami Federal Courthouse that much more challenging. All in place for the historic first appearance of the first U.S. president, former or otherwise, to face federal indictment on Tuesday. This isn't somebody smuggling boxes out. Former President Donald Trump on full blast campaigning this weekend. As far as the joke of an indictment, it's a horrible thing. Lashing out at the 37 charges against him, retaining classified documents detailing national defense, lying about them, conspiring to obstruct justice after the subpoena for him to return it all from his Mar-a-Lago home offices, bathroom, shower, and ballroom. President Trump's motorcade left Bedminster this morning, where he was spending the summer, headed back on his Trump-branded plane out of Newark to the southern district that encompasses his Mar-a-Lago home and the federal court system where he is scheduled to be arraigned and eventually tried. And also the property in Doral, where President Trump will be spending tonight. We understand that not only won't he be leaving there before he comes here tomorrow, but what he'll be doing in the next couple of hours is trying to add to his attorney team. He needs a Florida attorney to appear for his arraignment tomorrow. Also, we're understanding that unless he finds one, this arraignment may well be postponed. Not the process of President Trump coming in, formally surrendering, getting fingerprinted, and getting his mugshot taken, but the actual arraignment in front of a magistrate where the magistrate will ask, how do you plead? And he no doubt will say, not guilty. We are on hold to see how that scheduling is going to play out. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami today, Local 10 News. Okay, let's see if he finds that attorney. Thanks, Glenna.